subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button you're watching tag tv India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Shreya Sabijay and today in our episode of My India, we'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. Being an agrarian society, India celebrates a number of harvest festivals throughout the year. These occasions are an integral part of the country's cultural legacy and over the centuries they have evolved in various forms. Besakhi, which is mostly observed in the Punjab region of the country, is among these agricultural festivals. Every year, Besakhi is celebrated with huge fanfare and excitement, but this year, amid coronavirus outbreak, people didn't go for bigger celebrations and observe the festival in a very decent way, following the government's guidelines. Have a look. Though Baisakhi celebrations lacked pomp and show this year amid coronavirus outbreak, but it very well showed the sincerity of the citizens towards the government that has asked them to remain indoors and maintain social distancing. People refrained to visit revered shrines to offer prayers on this historical and religious festival which also marks the establishment of Sikh order. Besakhi commemorates the day when the 10th Sikh Guru Gobind Singh founded the Khalsa Panth, an army of warrior Sikhs in 1699 to fight the Mughals. The festival is celebrated with huge religious fervor every year, but this time it saw very less number of devotees limited to those who work at the temple due to coronavirus lockdown. हम लोग बैसाकी पर्व तो बहुत धूमधाम से मना रहे थे, लेकिन लॉकडाउन के कारण कि भीड़ भार ना लगे, सरकार का भी बात मानना जरूरी है, इस कारण से सिंपल तरीके से मनाया जाए। even the holiest Sikh shrine, Sri Harmandir Sahib or Golden Temple, located in the Amritsar city of Punjab, that remains jam-packed with people on Besakhi, was also thronged by a limited number of devotees this year. The administration of the temple took strict measures to avoid the spread of the virus. They installed sanitizing tunnel and even maintained social distancing while distributing sweets among devotees. कोई संगत ना काट है गिया जो भी ये थे प्रबंधक प्रबंधक की ताहोया लॉकडाउन दा जितना इन्ना ने संगत जड़िया वो सैनिटाइज कार के अंदर जा रहे ने सारे सोच चीड़ी पालना की थी जारी। Besakhi is celebrated as Rongali Bihu by the people of Assam and a small community in Shillong with immense fervor. This occasion coincides with Assamese New Year and people welcome the arrival of spring season with feasts, music and dancing. This year people celebrated the festival at their homes itself and avoided any gathering amid the pandemic. I am a 
कि नए साल हमारे लिए सुख शांति और समृद्धि बने सब सही सुरक्षित रहे परम आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नरेंद्र मोदी जी की नेतृत्व पर देश की जनता सुरक्षित रहे करोना वायरस के खिलाफ उनकी नेतृत्व पर सब एक साथ मिलकर लड़े Every year Baisakhi is celebrated with immense joy and enthusiasm. Gurudwaras are beautifully decorated with lights and fireworks lighten up the dark sky. Though this year the festival lagged in its charm, but it still retained its essence. Amid coronavirus outbreak when Prime Minister has announced lockdown across the country, there are lots of people who are finding it difficult to have at least one meal a day in such a scenario new definitions of humanity and generosity are being set by a number of individuals and organizations who are emerging as hunger heroes they are not just feeding the stomach of lakhs of people but are also helping the country in dealing with this pandemic let's take a look at a few India is battling against COVID-19 and its hunger heroes are battling against the hunger woes of the country. As the Prime Minister announced lockdown till 3rd May to prevent the spread of coronavirus in the country, the decision seems to have taken its toll on the underprivileged and daily wage workers who are running out of food and money. In this hour of need, Several individuals and charitable organizations are coming forward in different parts of the country to feed these people no matter which caste or community they belong to. In Maharashtra's Nagpur city, Annamrita Foundation is providing healthy and nutritious meals to thousands of people every day. The volunteers prepare the meal maintaining complete hygiene and while serving too social distancing is properly taken into account Lockdown jab shuru hua tab se leke ab tak lagbhag 1 lakh plates ka hum yahan se distribution kar chuke hain average per day lagbhag 5500 logo ka cooking ho raha hai Meanwhile in Surat city there are number of organizations that have come forward and are feeding thousands of hungry souls daily proper security arrangements are done while serving food and the police officials take care that people maintain social distancing similar scenes can also be witnessed in the country's capital new delhi where too food is distributed among several daily wages every day by a number of charitable organizations ye bhi gareeb tabke ke jo log hain जो मजदूर तबके के लोग हैं जो बेचारे कहीं अभी काम नहीं कर पा रहे जो फंसे हुए लोग हैं जिनके पास खाने की व्यवस्था नहीं है उन लोगों को हमारी आर डब्ल्यू के द्वारा खाने की पूरी व्यवस्था कराई जाती है उनका देख रेख किया जाता है कि किसी मुसीबत में तो नहीं है या किसी और इसके अलावा खाने के अलावा उनको किसी दवाइयों की जरूरत तो नहीं है या अन्य प्रकार किसी और प्रकार की जरूरत नहीं Modi ordered the country's 1.3 billion people to remain indoors saying that was the only hope to stop the pandemic in such a condition a number of people cutting across the religious lines are extending their helping hand to all those who have deficiency of food at their homes now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently Indian technological institutes are racing against time in a battle against the deadly coronavirus as they have designed prototypes for cheap medical ventilators with the country already facing a shortage of the critical medical devices these ventilators will cost about 25000 rupees once they are manufactured while a typical ventilator costs anywhere between 5 lakh to 1.2 million rupees this product was within 2 days uh, it was given a confidence 
and within about four, four days we developed a prototype and we have a functioning prototype at this point of time and it's, uh, it's, we are going to test it in hospitals in the next couple of days and it can support the emergency ventilation part of it. It will cost about 25,000 rupees to sell once we manufacture and sell. Meanwhile, a team of technicians in Lucknow city is making a multi-channel ventilator which will help the doctors to speed up the process to treat multiple COVID-19 patients of different age groups at the same time. India with a population of roughly 1.3 billion likely has around 30,000 to 50,000 ventilators according to an estimate by Research Group Centre for Disease Dynamics, Economics and Policy. As many as 1 million ventilators may be required to address a possible peak infection scenario sometime between April and May in India for the treatment of the disease. Indian authorities have transformed the sleeper carriages of decommissioned trains into isolation wards to treat a rising number of coronavirus cases. Prime Minister Narendra Modi ordered the country's 1.3 billion people this week to stay indoors till 3rd May in the world's biggest lockdown, which the government says had slowed the rate of infection. India's network of trains, the country's lifeblood, has been idle. But some old train coaches have been given a new purpose as prototype quarantine facilities. Workers were seen preparing the coaches, sanitizing surfaces and hanging up plastic sheeting to separate the birds. In the coaches, we have removed the middle birds mm -hmm. and the one uh, laboratory of in, uh, Indian style which is blocked mm -hmm. and converted to the shower room mm -hmm. where the <coughs> bathing facility to be done for doctors, nurses and mm -hmm. also for patients and there we have fitted new bottle holders, magazine bags for keeping reports and we have fitted the mosquito nets from outside mm -hmm. the window. Among other measures, in Sangrur district of Punjab, the local administration installed a so-called safety station which involved various workers hand washing with touch-free basins and having their temperature taken before being sprayed with disinfectant. A similar initiative was started in southern Chennai city where people on two wheelers entering the city were being sanitized. Next, we move to our section of Asia Buzz, where today we'll take you to experience the spring beauty of Japan, along with exploring the country's traditional art form, bonsai, presenting a beautiful combination of beauty and tradition. Take a look. With the arrival of spring, people of Japan would not like to miss visiting one of the country's oldest sakura trees, which are around 1,000 year old and are well documented with ancient letters and drawing shows. This tree's name is Miharu Takizakura. It is located in Fukushima prefecture and has become a symbol of Japan's recovery from the earthquake and tsunami disaster. Miharu Takizakura was the first year of the Sakura in the first year of the Sakura in the first year of the Sakura in the first year of the え、Takizakura literally means waterfall cherry tree in Japanese, which appears to be a suitable name for it as a tree stands 12 meters tall with wide drooping branches spanning 20 meters around the tree, 
making it appear like a waterfall of cherry blossom. Sakura を見に来たんですけども、えっとまあその桜の下にまあこういう神社が祀ってあって。えー、まあ桜を見せていただくという心,心配りということで、えー、ここの神社にお祭銭としてあげさせてもらってで神社の神様を通じて、えー、桜を見させていただきますという、えー、と気持ちで感謝を込めて、えー、お祭銭とお参りをさせていただきました。This grand cherry blossom tree is surrounded with small shops that provide local foods and goods. The Takizakura is a small shop that provides local foods and goods. The Takizakura is a small shop that provides local foods and goods. The Takizakura is a small shop that provides local foods and goods. The Takizakura is a small shop that provides local foods and goods. The Takizakura is a small shop that provides local foods and goods. The Takizakura is a small shop that provides local foods and goods. The Takizakura is a small shop that provides local foods and goods. Is one among the three ancient cherry blossom trees in Japan. Usually, cherry blossom trees' lifespan is only 15 to 20 years. However, what makes these trees so amazing is that they have been able to survive for more than 1,000 years due to the delicate care provided to them for generations. After the sunset, the illumination reveals another breathtaking scene of Miharu Takizakura. Next, we take you to Tokyo's Idogawa district to soak your senses in the beauty of a unique museum that has hundreds of dwarf trees, also known as bonsai, an art form being mastered by Japanese artists for more than 800 years. The museum is visited by both locals as well as foreign tourists who visit it to enjoy the mesmerizing trees. Many students from around the world also come here. To learn the art of bonsai by Japan's most famous bonsai teacher. The price of these trees ranges from tens of dollars to about one million US dollars for a single bonsai, depending on its type, age, and the technique used to bend its torso and twigs. 17年前にこの盆栽をまあ世界に広めたいっていう意味で作り上げました。敷地が800坪で1000鉢の盆栽があります。黒松とか新柏とか都椒とかいろいろな樹種、雑木類、30種類ぐらいな種類あると思いますよ。もっとあるかもしれませんね。まあもともと盆栽が生まれたのは中国です。おそらく1300年前に中国で生まれて、800年前に日本に伝わってきて、日本人の美意識と感性で無駄なものを削ぎ落としていって。今の盆栽って形が確立されたと思います。One of the most famous bonsai tree in Japan is kept in this museum. This tree is well known for its extreme age. Really impressed with the bonsai, the level of detail in the bonsai, and the way that they're maintained. It's very intricate and very a lot of hard work. Visitors can both come and have a glance at these trees, or they even opt for a guided tour if they wish to understand bonsai more deeply. This museum offers a unique experience to learn about bonsai and understand its basics to treat owning bonsai. For more depth experience, they also offer a learning course which students want to join from across the world. 更平民，就是越来越多人可以接受并且承受得住、承担得住盆景的盆景的价格，啊，而不是让它一直在很高层的、很高的价格，而是把价格往下往下降下来，更多人可以去，嗯，怎么说，拥有盆景。Japan has become the homeland of bonsai for a good reason. Japanese quality and efforts have turned an immature and unpopular practice. Into a highly respected and widely practiced art form. India is a multi-religious society where people of almost all the faiths live with complete harmony. They not only have mutual tolerance among themselves, but also hold equal regards for the beliefs of other communities. 
and this has been proved by its people time and again. One such example can be witnessed in Guwahati district of Assam, where a 74-year-old man has been taking care of the 500-year-old Shiv temple for years. Keeping the country's age-old tradition of communal harmony alive, a Muslim family residing in North Guwahati's Rangmahal village is quietly spreading the message of love, peace and harmony to the world. For generations, members of this family have been looking after a 500-year-old Shiva temple constructed by their forefathers right behind their house. The caretaker, Matiba Rahman, says Hindu and Muslim people alike come to the temple and offer prayers. 500 year, years ago, the temple has been maintained for our family. We have also come to Hindu and the Muslim people. And this temple has also come to our Muslim village. Our people have also come to our village. Hindu people also come to our village and pray for our village. Rahman goes on to maintain the temple well, as he says that it was his forefathers who asked the family members to take care and protect the temple and believed that the temple fulfills the wishes and desires of the people who offer prayer wholeheartedly. One of the most interesting facts of this temple is that, cutting across religious lines, both Hindus and Muslims throng the temple to offer prayers and perform rituals. They have firm belief on the deity and consider the temple as an epitome of Hindu-Muslim unity in the village. Muslims perform dua while Hindus perform puja in the temple, which is exemplary of communal harmony to the world. Moreover, Rahman and his family offer dua in the Shivale or Shiv temple. <laughs> आदमी आने नहीं सका। बहुत जुल्म से आता 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 हुआ जब हमारा ग्रैंडफादर इंटेगल हो गया ना, तब उसको हमारे पास दे दिया है बोलो जब नाती तुम इसे इसे करो और तुम्हारा बात तुम्हारा बेटा को इसे इसे करना सिखाओ। हम अभी नाना का जू कहता है ये करता है हम। नाना का नाना नाना का नाना जी इस जू कर रहा ह� People like Matipur Rahman can be found in every nook and corner of the country who have proved that religion is not a medium of dividing people but uniting them. As people in India stay at home to keep the novel coronavirus in check, the country's few creative minds as well as the police are coming out with novel ways to create awareness about the pandemic and enforce nationwide lockdown. So today, let's take a look at few such examples whose creativity in the midst of Corona is truly applausible. Disguising himself as Mahatma Gandhi and having his face painted in silver, a man in Odisha's capital, Bhubaneswar, can be seen spreading awareness among people about coronavirus in his own unique style. Now also being called as Silver Gandhi, Sai Ram, waving the national flag and playing gong, walks around 150 kilometers on foot every day and distributes masks and hand sanitizers to the people in slum areas. Sai Ram even makes his way to the vegetable shops in the area and tells the locals about the importance of social distancing amid COVID-19 outbreak. सभी को रिक्वेस्ट किया कि कैसे सोशल डिस्टेंस मेंटेन करें और मैं मास लोगों को मास दिया और हमारे जो नेशनल फ्लैग के उसको मैंने पकड़ के गया और स्लम भी गया स्लम में मिलके सभी को आवर किया। Meanwhile, another creative attempt amid coronavirus lockdown was made in the Hyderabad city of Telangana by a famous car designer K Sudhakar. Popular for his wacky car design, Sudhakar has designed a car shape like the microscopic image of the coronavirus 
to inform people about the dangers of the sparse spreading virus and appeal to them to stay indoors. The vehicle is painted in an eye-catching green color and was taken out on the streets of the city by his company Sudha Cars after seeking permission from the authorities. So I thought I'll make uh, uh, something like uh, uh, coronavirus and show to the people that the dangers of the coronavirus and stay inside, be safe. This is a complete car with suspension, steering and it has six wheels, it can go up to 40 km speed. Uh, we are going to take it around the city and uh, get awareness of the danger of coronavirus and be in, stay indoors. In Surat city of Gujarat too, creativity hit its peak when the city's police wore spiky helmets and wielded coronavirus themed sticks and shields to create awareness about the pandemic. The idea was a brainchild of a probationary deputy superintendent of police at Surat, Yuvraj Sin Gohil, who along with his team talks to commuters on the roads and goes door to door reminding locals to practice social distancing and not to step out of their homes. I thought that the police are working on Denda Mark or some kind of stuff, so I thought that we could do something like Manoranjan or aware of it and we could do more than that. Because my experience that I have seen, we can see that the people who have been understood as much as their implementation is very quickly and very well. Though the pandemic COVID-19 has taken the entire world in its grip and has created an atmosphere of fear all around, but the systematic approach by the government and the creative efforts by the citizens to create awareness have given promising results and a hope that the deadly virus can be eliminated entirely. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at nin.com. I'm your host Shreya Savajay and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.